The real enemy of the people are those who are engaged in state capture and politicians, irrespective of political affiliation, and are part of this capture. However, Nigeria must continue to fight for the rights of over 200 million citizens and never give up. This was the submission of an economist at Tedo Peterside while delivering his keynote speech at the Fort Nigerian Leadership Colloquium in honor of Pastor Itwa Igudalo's 63rd birthday, titled Mistakes Nigeria Made, held in Lagos. Plus TV News correspondent Lof Ikuku Oyedoko tells more in this report. In the annual colloquium in honor of the lead pastor of the Trinity House Church, Lagos, Pastor Itwa Igodalo, as it clocks, 63. Fourth in a series, the church auditorium of the Trinity House, just like the previous ones, brought together technocrats, captains of industries, academias, intellectuals, politicians, amongst others. For over three hours, the locked horns, in trying to unravel many unanswered questions surrounding the many mistakes the entity called Nigeria has made, as well as chart our way forward. In his keynote address, the chairman of ANAP, Just Limited, at Tedo Peter said, identified the 1966 schools and the civil war among nine major mistakes Nigeria made. He also listed the introduction of religion in politics by the elite as major mistakes made by the country, among others. In the aftermath of the elections in the Western region, politicians failed to curb the excesses of their supporters. If they had curbed those excesses and had toned down and there was peace, I doubt if there would have been a coup in January 1966. So if you are following my train of thought, the mistake was an inability or a refusal to curb the excesses of your supporters. We are still prone to making that mistake periodically. A panel of discussions include a veteran journalist, Ruben Abati, Professor Olubukola Oyawoye, Atedo Peterside, and General Ike Wanchuku. While Prof. Olubukola called for repentance on the part of all Nigerians, Dr. Abati held strongly that the mistakes of 1914 is what must be corrected. We are making mistakes of not existing together, of discrimination, of corruption, of inadequate cohesion and unforgiveness because we never forget. We would always remember an Igbo man hurt you 20 years ago. You're taking it back on an innocent Igbo boy who did not do anything wrong to you. Look at other nations that are making progress, not the kind of thing you, we have here. There's a sense of identity. That same word I got from the presentation by uh, General Wajuku. Okay, what makes us a Nigerian? I think we have not yet to resolve that matter. I think the attitude of most people is that, you know, we just belong to different nations. For Atedo Peter's side, part of the mistakes Nigeria made was the destruction of standards in the civil service by the military. While lamenting that a country has never adopted global best practices in resolving crises, General Wanchiku noted that the political system is compromised and needs to be changed. Again, I'm not saying to the military, this generation of Nigerians who were lucky that on account of schools and others, their generation at age 30, 31, got into this position. Ted Buhari was the minister in the States, but his first cabinet as a civilian, the youngest person was 50, is that the presidential system is not the best for Nigeria. It's too expensive. And giving such awesome powers to just one individual as president is a total mistake. One word that reverberated on the lips of attendees was that the youth population must be captured through education. Education is key. Um, getting into AI, you know, for the youth is very key. Uh, dragging uh, the whole country along from an environmental management position is also key. We must take what we want and create it. 
no matter how difficult, but I see that most of us are waiting for things to be handed down to us. But each of us can do something, no matter how little. And for the man in whose honor the colloquium is held, Pastor Itwa Igodalo strongly believes that Nigeria is better together than apart. But the terms for that togetherness must be discussed and agreed. The first thing Nigeria should do is that if you call yourself a Nigerian, we must be given the opportunity to sit around the table and say, what do you want out of this Nigeria? You know, if you are the father of a house and your children have grown, you must sit around the table with them and ask them what they want so that you know exactly what to provide for them. We shouldn't assume and we shouldn't take for granted and we shouldn't force people together into any kind of relationship. At Sisyphe, one of the things Pastor Itua Igodalo says he looks forward to is a great Nigeria where everyone will be happy. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.